Yo guys, what is up? Dave here with a brand new video on the channel. Not a sponsored video or anything, just a really cool website I found. So I wanted to make a video about it because what I've learned from this website so far and what I think it can truly turn into is going to be something really cool. And I forwarded some friends uh, the URL through Discord for this and just told them, hey, what do you think about it? And relatively pretty positive re uh, responses from friends. So... I wanted to make a video about it. This is Motor Mia. Meet Mia, your AI-powered modding buddy, basically. Um, what what does this PR mumbo jumbo mean? <laughs> uh, basically, this platform. Let's say you are going to look at a car to buy a BMW or a Volkswagen Golf GTI. You're gonna go look at one to. Uh, daily drive you don't know much about the platform because you've mainly owned JDM cars let's say but you do want to slightly modify it once you get it you can use this platform to figure out the parts you mainly need to modify that car and it's pretty cool because it's an all AI platform that's going to help you out immensely in finding the proper parts so you basically add your vehicle by VIN or manual entry It'll curate recommendations with its AI. You can chat with the AI to figure out best parts. And then you can share your build with friends. So let's hit the login page and we'll go add, mm, let's do a Mark IV. We'll do, because I know Mark IVs pretty well. So we're gonna do a Mark IV VW. We'll do the one that I used to have. We'll do a Golf or a Jetta. Mine was a GLS four-door sedan with a 1.8 turbo. There's mine. Mine was a manual, but that doesn't really man uh, matter much. Or no, mine was automatic, wasn't it? I don't remember what mine was, but it really doesn't matter in this situation. Then you can select a color if you want. Realistically, that's just telling the AI what color car to generate when it's adding it to your collection. So I'm going to skip this because I'm not going to upload my own photo of it. It's going to generate a photo of the car. It's going to give you three options. You click one of the three and that is your picture of the car on your profile. Well, on the car's profile. So it's pretty quick, believe it or not, uh, compared to some other AI platforms I have messed with in recent years. It generated all wagons. This is, I did not add a wagon, so we are going to give it a thumbs down and the AI will learn from the thumbs down that it generated the wrong thing. If it generates the wrong thing again, I'll just pick one anyway. Maybe I accidentally did click wagon. I don't think I did. Anyway, that's okay. So it's going to generate new images here in a second. <coughs> Excuse me. And do do do. I might. I should have just paused for this. I'm gonna pause. Yeah, it generated all wagons again, but that's okay. We'll just click it anyway. So it saves it. And what we're gonna do is set up a vehicle profile for it. So you can go vehicle settings, go performance goals. I want to do drag racing. It's kind of the only racing I truly know well enough to make a YouTube video based around an AI for cars. Um, oops, clicked it again. Next, we want to go appearance goals. I'm going to go for like OEM plus. Not a big deal. I'm not worried about visuals. Budget. We're going to say 10,000 because maybe I want to KO for this thing. <coughs> From there, knowledge level, I'm going to go with like intermediate because... At least personally with my automotive knowledge, I have only gone as far as like doing exhaust work on my own car. I've never gone really beyond that. I've done like valve cover gasket, spark plug tube seals, stuff like that. But realistically, that's it. So there we go. Now, let's say I want to add parts that already exist on my car. You can do that by just going to add. And we can do, and you can search the very specific parts. But in this, you have to, I don't think describe is the best word. I'm going to be honest. You need to know the brand, make, and model of the actual part you have on the car. 
So with that, I'm going to actually skip this because I don't really remember any of the names of the parts that were on the car. I don't have it anymore. So what we're going to do is go straight to the AI and go ask Mia. And for right now, as you can see, I get this little menu about, you know, popular upgrades, power specific, braking specific, cooling, handling. I can either make it super specific on what I want it to help me with, or I can just go popular upgrades. So I'm going to go popular upgrades for my first interaction with the AI. And what I've found works best with this AI is don't have a conversation with it like you would with ChatGPT. Give it straight to the point answers. So I want to do engine performance upgrades. The first thing I'm going to do is cold air intake. And we're going to do Mia's favorite. So this is going to generate a big list of up to 10 brands and models of cold air intakes for the car. So what you can do here is do quick add, which I believe adds that to future part installs, or you can just install it. So I did have a cold air intake. It was a very crappy one. I'm going to say AEM was on it. Now... It does take a second for it to install. I'm going to say yes, I want to explore more upgrade paths. So next we're going to say uh, other, which is ECU tuning. Mia's favorites. And we're going to see what Mia comes up with, because I've never actually asked it to give me e uh, ECU tune recommendations. So this should be an interesting thing. Gaiac Revo. I don't think Cobb supports these VWs anymore. Let's do a fact check. Cobb tuning. Do they still support Mark IVs? Uh, let's see. 2000, I did a 2003 Volkswagen Jetta. They do not support it. So that is not actually here. I know Gaiac supports it. I know Revo might. Revo tuning. <coughs> Let's see if they still support Mark IVs. I am United States. So we are going to do Volkswagen, choose your model, uh, Mark IV. Or that's Mark III. Oops, Mark IV. Wait, why is it calling it Mark III? Weird. Uh, select your engine. So that's the other thing is it is defaulting to the transverse KO3S on Motor Mia. I believe I actually had this one. Cool. You can still get tunes through Revo for it. So we're going to go Revo. And this is where AI is never going to be, at least at the current moment in time, it's not perfect. Everybody knows that. Don't expect AI to be perfect. It's just the way AI nature is. And something that, you know, do your due diligence when doing homework and stuff like that. Uh, see if you can actually, you know, when you're going through this AI list, also throw it into Google. Search it. Make sure it's 100% correct. Or uh, I have been on a private Discord with some of the heavy hardcore users of this that are giving feedback to the developers of it. Um one idea that seems to be that seems to keep coming up is once the discord goes public having experts on the discord so like you know myself i would be known as a fiat or volkswagen expert because i have modified a fiat and a volkswagen and i could give proper feedback like yeah i wouldn't go with that brand because of this this and this or i wouldn't choose that cold air intake i would go with this one because you're actually getting cold air from the wheel well versus just sticking an air filter in your engine bay you know stuff like that you know uh i can't give feedback on like engine building like hey you should go with integrated engineering pistons not joe schmoe's pistons like i don't know that from experience but i can at least give the feedback that needs to be true about 
maybe something along the lines of, you know, uh, tuning because I did a lot of research. So we're going to go with Revo. Then we're going to do exhaust <clears throat> because my car did have an exhaust on it. Sometimes it's going to show the code. It's just a little bug that they're working out, but this will fix itself and actually show the proper options. Don't worry. <laughs> so as far as what I had on the VW, this I don't think exists for the Mark IV and never did. So that's another mistake that, like I was saying, the AI is never perfect. But I do know MagnaFlow exists, so we're going to go with MagnaFlow. Now, let's say that's kind of all I have done to the car. Uh, well, fuel injectors. Fuel injectors are another popular upgrade for the Volkswagens. Now, the one thing that I'm hoping they can find a way to make work on this is if you go on PC Part Picker, this is going to be an example. If you go on PC Part Picker, sometimes it get, it'll give you a warning like this if parts aren't compatible together, potentially not compatible together. I'm wondering if they'll be able to eventually do that with Motor Mia. That's going to be a really difficult thing because there's a lot of research involved. Like I know with Volkswagen, these Mark IVs especially, if you even want to go like stage two, yeah, there's stage two light that will work with stock injectors, but you are pushing those injectors to the absolute maximum. So this is a better option in all honesty is just like kind of doing your homework at the same time. And this is where you would want to talk to your tuner. Like, hey, these are my power goals. I want to run 22 PSI. Uh, what kind of fueling do I need to be able to do that? Okay, I did click wagon. I feel bad. I told the uh, I told the AI I didn't. But that's where you have to talk to your tuner and where conversations with someone who knows more about the build can actually help you out. So we're going to go with just straight Bosch injectors. And we will now go back and see what it is estimating as far as power for our car. So we can go back now. Just click the little wrench. So we should be sitting, if it was a 180 HP, um, actually it's, yeah, it's still pulling, it was pulling the incorrect engine, but that's okay. Um, so around 240, 240 is a little bit high of an estimate for what I think this build would be because you're going from the 180 to the 220. So I think this is okay. I think this is kind of right, actually. Which is really good. You know, it, it's amazing where AI is going. But you can see stock. This is where it started versus where it is now. And you can do like planned parts as well. Saved upgrades will be here. So that would be like a quick upgrade. So let's say like power. Just say yes. It'll give you the list of, let's say, turbo charger upgrade. It's going to probably give me the options of like Franken turbos and stuff like that. Franken Turbo. Let's see if it knows Franken Turbo. This is going to be interesting. Sourcing specialized upgrades. Well, thank you, sir. Uh, Ma'am. So this is another thing, too. I don't even know if any of these, which ones of these are compatible with the 1.8 2003 VW Jetta. But I can at least click one and add it. And this is another situation of like, this is where injectors again on the Mark IV is coming to play. Because if you upgrade your turbo on a Mark IV, you have to upgrade your injectors. Even at some point, you have to upgrade your fuel rail. It's insane. Uh, how basic it sounds to modify a Mark IV is actually pretty intense. So we're just going to go with like an F21. Oop, I didn't mean to click install. Can I remove it? No, I can't. Well, we'll do intercooler. Uh, Mia's favorite. That was just... There's another suggestion, I think. If I re-click that, it should uninstall it. I'll give them that idea later. But, 
So let's say like quick add. I want to do a Mishimoto. We'll just do quick. Or you can click this and you can click like uh, find similar and stuff like that. So now we can go back. We can look here. And that's what it's estimating with the Franken Turbo, which is sweet. But like this is the other thing too, where again, part compatibility or tune compatibility doesn't make sense. You would not use a Revo Stage 1 with an F21. So that's, but you can see here with quick add, this is what it will be once the planned upgrade is done, you know, et cetera, et cetera. But this is where this is actually now incorrect. So is it a long road to being correct? Yes. But again, it's like we always say, AI isn't perfect. I don't want to sell it like it is. But even they understand that. Talking to the devs on the private Discord, they even understand that. And they have some really cool ideas for this website for not only sharing builds, but creating a community around it where you can share your cars, communicate with others. You know, the experts will be available for trying to help you out and get your car built the way that you want it to be built. And I think this can go a long way. So I definitely recommend go play with Motor Mia, see how it is. I know they want to run a beta test for motorcycles. So if you are a motorcycle rider or know anything about motorcycles, check out Motor Mia. Uh, I think, I don't know if motorcycles are added yet, but I can look real quick. Let's say like 2009... Uh, I don't see Harley in here. So that's what I was looking for was like Harley Davidson. So once the bikes are added, definitely check out the site and, you know, let them know or let me know or leave a comment in the video description down below and just let us know what you think of Motor Mia. If you have ideas for the website, leave them in the comments. You know, it's a really cool platform that I've had a lot of fun playing with just building random cars on, as you can see, like here's my 2013 Abarth. You know, that's a bit high of an estimate. Oh, is that because I have, like, planned parts on it? I forgot. I forgot I had planned parts on it. <coughs> that's okay. But, yeah, no, there's a lot of, uh, it, it's fun. It's a very fun site to play with, and I really hope you guys give it a chance. I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.